She follows all Mariada. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself said, Mariada is the Bhushan, the ornament of the Vaishnavas. They never transgress any Dharma or Mariada. Hmm? Understand? So, Radhika is Su Mariada also. So one time, Shimati Radhika was sitting with her Sakis. And from one direction, the Nishta Saki was running there very, very quickly. And from another direction, Brinda Devi was running very quickly. And from two directions at once, the Nishta Saki and Brinda Saki arrived there. So, the Nishta had come from Madhya Shoda, and Madhya Shoda was saying, Oh, the Nishta, please tell Radhika to come to my kitchen and to cook some Manohar Ladu for Krishna. And Krishna was at Govardhan, and he had sent Brinda and said, Go and get Radhika and please bring her here to Govardhan to meet with me. So the two of them arrived at the same time and presented their message to Radharani. So what did Radharani do? She thought for a moment and she said, the requests of one's Gurujan should not be neglected. So she said to Brinda Devi, tell Krishna please excuse me, but I have to go to the kitchen of Madhya Shava. This is so Mariada. So these are the qualities of Radhika. So we may go on and on and on, but I want to stop shortly and give my my very dear Prabhu the opportunity to speak some more kata. So the, the, the garland. Excuse me. So. I am I'm aware of the time because I am watching a watch right here. So, yeah, yeah, go, go ahead. I'm just, I'm just only one last question. Go ahead. So, here, the garland of Shimati Radhika is the garland of her 25 astonishing qualities by which she uh, captivates the heart of Sri Krishna. But now, in Goralila, Gadara Pandit is Radhika herself and has taken the garland of Radhika's qualities and offered this, given this blessing to Krishna. And now Krishna, Mahaprabhu means Krishna, who is all adorned with the garland of Radhika's qualities. Hmm. Therefore, Jalmahal, 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 how beautiful Krishna looks, adorned with the divine sentiments of Shimati Radhika. So, here, in the last verse, Srila Bhaktivinoda said, Shiva Shuka Narada Prami Gada Gada Bhaktivi Noda Deke Gaura Sampada Gaura Sampad Seto Deke Gaura Pade Pran Sampeche Gaura Sampad Seto Deke Oh, those who have sold their hearts at the lotus feet of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, then, oh, Gaura is their life and soul, he is their everything, he is their Sampad, he is their only treasure. So Bhakti Thakur said he is beholding the treasure of Mahaprabhu, that is, that Radha Krishna's Leela was so beautiful, so astonishing. But Krishna's promise, Yeyatamam Papadyante, I will reciprocate. It was broken, he could not reciprocate with Radharani. He had no Madanaki Mahabhav. He was unable to reciprocate. And he was unable to fulfill his desire to realize even what it is. <laughs> and therefore, Radhika's Bless Krishna. You know, it is said, Radhika are prema guru ani amishishana. The prema of Radhika is my guru, Krishna said. And my guru Dave, in his commentary on Gita Govinda, he said, you know, there's a famous verse in Gita Govinda. Priye charu shile. Priye charu shile. Smaragala kandanam. Mama Sisi Mandanam, Smaragara Lagandanam, Mama Sirasi Mandanam, Devi Pada Padavadam. Krishna is saying, O oh, Creator, we say, O oh, my most beloved, whose character and qualities are always very gentle and loving. Because she's in man. She said, You are Priya, you are Charushila, but she's on fire. With so he's speaking very flattering words. And he's saying, 
My heart is burning in the fire of Cupid. So please, extinguish this fire by decorating my head with the, the pe soft petals of your lotus feet. So, just as the disciple keeps his head at the lotus feet of his guru in order to receive his, the blessing of his guru's bar, see Krishna bowed his head at the lotus feet of Radhika because he could not realize her Madanakya Mahabhav. And as a disciple surrenders to his guru, Krishna is falling at the feet of Radhika to take the blessing that he may realize her moods. And therefore, this the bowing of Krishna's head at the feet of Radhika is the moment that caused the Krishna to gradually uh, appear in his Rasaraj Mahabhav Du Ekuru. In Krishna himself absorbed now in the mood of Shimati Radhika. So, here, Shiva Shukanara, in that form of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, now Krishna's desire is fulfilled. And Radhika, her, Radhika exists to fulfill all of Krishna's desires. So if Krishna has a desire which is not fulfilled, it's her responsibility to fulfill it. So she has given Krishna the garland of all her sentiments and qualities, and now he's playing as Sri Satinandan Gohari. So finally, in this Gaur Lila, it is the culmination and the fulfillment of the romance of Radha and Krishna. And therefore, Shiva, Shukha, Narada, Prame, Gada, Gada, Shiva, Shukha and Narada, their voices are choked. They cannot speak anymore. This is very significant. Lord Shiva is the speaker of the Tantra Shastra, Agama Shastra. All the Agama Shastras come from Lord Shiva. Tantra Shastra. And Narad Rishi is the origin of the Narad Pancharatra. So all the Pancharatra Shastra has come from Narad Rishi. And the Vedas are Nigam. The Vedas are Nigam. But Nigam Akalpatro Galitam Palam Shukamukodamrita Dravasamitam. The fruit of all the Vedas has appeared from the lips of Shukadev Goswami in the form of Bhagavatam. So Lord Shiva, he has spoken the Tantra Shastra and given so many instructions. Narad Rishi has spoken Pancharatra and given so many instructions. Shukadev Goswami has given the fruit of all the Vedas in the form of Shrimad Bhagavatam. But now they've all stopped speaking, Prema Gada Gada. They have nothing more to say because they are witnessing the pinnacle the ultimate platform of divine love of Radha Krishna's divine Lila in their combined form of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And then at that moment, when we finish singing this kirtan, then at once we sing Srila Bhakti Nautaku's kirtan, Jaya Jaya Radha Krishna Jugal Milan. Because at that point, as one has entered deeply into the Navadip Yoga Pit, then the Surup of Navadip Dham as Vrindavan manifests. And Sri Gorga Dada begin to dance in the form of Radha Krishna and Lalita Arati Karai Lalita Disakivan. And in this way, by the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, all the living entities whose greed was awakened by Gora Arti, they enter into the Vrindavan Yoga Pit and then into the Swarasiki Lila Astakali Lila of Radha and Krishna. This is the significance of our daily performance of Gora Arti. Don't forget and don't neglect this very important. Go, Brahmanandi!